it's Darren Piper here for 102.1 The Edge in Toronto. I'm at the Soundwave Festival in Adelaide, Australia, Southern Australia. I'm joined now by Billy and Charlotte from Subway. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, yeah, good man. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. So how's your uh, Soundwave Festival been so far? Amazing. Shows? Amazing. Like the first show was a little difficult because we were just getting used to the heat. But uh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I've been watching you guys pretty much every night because you go on exactly right after Goldman. Yeah. <laughs> so I got off stage, I have a towel, and I see you guys perform your set. Awesome. And it's amazing. The one question that really comes to mind for me, right off the bat, seeing as I'm a drummer, is why doesn't your drummer have a hi-hat? Uh, it's actually really, really strange. Like, uh, we had a small van that used to transport all our equipment, and our dad used to drive us into London on all small shows. We just didn't have enough space. We just shoved the toms in because he loved tom, you know. Yeah. He had one tom, one snare, one kick, one cymbal. And that's it. I gotta say, it's really cool. He works, he works pretty well. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, it, it, we find that if he doesn't use the hi hat, he just uses the toms more. Tom, he rides the toms or yeah. rides the trash or the rims or something. It's really, really cool. So, since the release of All or Nothing, what have you guys been up to? Um, Sorry, I haven't been up to Memphis. We had a load of festivals last summer, whatever year. Reading, Leeds, Glastonbury. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else am I missing? You guys, you guys did a lot. We did a lot last summer. Yeah, yeah. then we uh, did our own European tour uh, after that in the yep. autumn. Another European tour before we came out here, and we had Japan to call it. Now, wow. you guys are incredibly busy. That's awesome. Well, Love it. Well, we hey, I hate being at home. Just want to be doing something. You know, yeah, be out there. You got that itch. You just want to go out there and hit the world. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think your, the music is really resonating with the Australians. Is this your first time down here? Second time. We did a big day out in 2010. Oh, cool. And so, any new material you guys are working on for a new record? And yeah. is Butch going to be doing the record again? Hopefully. I mean, um, we've been emailing each other. He's actually been working with Green Day at the moment. So, oh, yeah. we've been emailing and just going, so how are Green Day doing? You know, it's like, send me some demos. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me, come on, say hello. I swear I won't let but um, yeah, we, I'm sort of writing the material at the moment, but eight months after we finished All or Nothing, I couldn't write anything. You know, I was so spent creatively. Um, but now, you know, now that we've been touring the world, going to Japan, and doing a little bit in America, doing loads in Europe, and coming here to Australia, it's really inspiring, you know? I think when you see the world, you start learning more about the world and yourself. You know, um, it sort of kicks you on the bum, basically, makes you want to write some new material. So we've got a bunch of new stuff, but when we get home, Charlotte and I are going to work on some uh, New ideas we formed on this tour, and then you know, see how it goes. Hopefully, have the record uh, finished by the end of this year. Out there. Fingers crossed. That's right. Fingers crossed. I'm joined now by the Subways. So we're uh, talking backstage at Adelaide Soundway Festival here in Australia. Guys, what was it like being in uh, a Gangrenzi movie? That must have been just insane. Yeah, that was amazing. How did that come about? Actually, it's really strange because we were making All or Nothing, and I, it just came out of the blue. Um, the phone rang one day, you want to be in a movie? Pretty much, man. <laughs> I, I woke up, we were staying in this apartment on, where was it, off Sunset. And, uh, you know, I was sort of in my underpants and I had some cereal. And my manager just goes, right, in 10 minutes, Garage is going to be calling. I just spurt out my cereal. <laughs> I go, right, I've got to get some pants on, man. Yeah, put some trousers on, got ready, and uh, wait for the phone call. And he called up and just said, hey, you know, love your music. I'm doing a new movie. We'd love if you, you know, I just thought you guys playing the show. I and mean, then he's like, Man, it's great. Let's do it. Yes. So, you know, I know. Yeah, he's trying Yeah, we did the first session to the record club when he called in uh, July. We went back to the UK in August to do Reading and Leeds Festival in uh, 2007. And, uh, yeah, we did some more shows before Reading and Leeds, and he came along to one of those and just filmed us playing live. That was it, man. Unbelievable. Really, really, really cool. Well, I know that the people in Canada, you have a lot of fans, and Rock and Roll for me really resonated with the, uh, the R audience at the station. So, so, I know when you get a new record done and you come to Canada, the show's going to be fantastic. It's going to be legendary. It really is going to be good. Cheers, dude. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks, man. Billy and Charlotte from the Subways, 102.1 The Edge.